There are plenty of shapes, sizes, and types of stars in the universe. Today, we will take a look at some of the biggest stars we've ever observed. We will go over the properties of these stars and the type that they belong to. Watch until the end of the video to see what happens when one of these massive stars explodes in a supernova. Stevenson 2-18, Uy Scuti, and Vy Canis Majoris are three stars that are candidates for the biggest star ever found. Because scientists can only get an estimation of their sizes at such large distances, it is not known for sure which star is largest, however it is believed that Stevenson 2-18 is the largest star, being around 2,150 times larger than our own sun. Vy Canis Majoris takes second place at around 2,000 times larger than the sun, and Uy Scuti takes third being around 1,700 times larger than the sun. These stars are absolutely enormous, and our sun would look like a speck next to them. They all have diameters of several astronomical units. This means the stars are so large that if you place them in the solar system, they would engulf all of the planets up to Uranus. Surprisingly, despite their large size, these stars are actually much cooler than the sun. However, any planets orbiting them still get big due to the sheer size of these stars. These stars are called red supergiants, and they are nearing the end of their lives. Although they are so much larger than regular stars, they are not as massive as they look. For example, despite Vy Canis Majoris being nearly 2,000 times larger than the Sun, it only weighs around 20 times more. This is because red supergiants are stars that are inflated like a balloon. When the fusion in the core of a regular star stops, it begins to happen in a shell around the core, which expands the star. This happens more and more, and the dying stars slowly expand until there is no more hydrogen to fuse. Then, the stars move on to fusing helium and heavier elements. Regular red giants eventually slough off their outer layers, becoming a planetary nebula and leaving their core behind as a white dwarf. These stars are supergiants though, which are typically massive enough to explode in a type 2 supernova. The supernovas that happen when one of these stars dies are incredibly powerful. The most massive stars collapse into black holes, while the less massive supergiants collapse into neutron stars. These are some of the largest known natural explosions found in the universe. They are so energetic that when they happen close enough to us, we can even see them in the night sky. One such example is the red supergiant Betelgeuse, which is around 500 light years away from us. Once this star goes supernova, it will be so bright that we will be able to see it in the sky even during the daytime. The bright spot wouldn't leave our sky for a few months as well. If one of these stars went supernova closer to us at only a few light years away, it would actually pose problems for life on Earth. In fact, Recent studies have suggested that a nearby supernova may have been the cause of at least one mass extinction in Earth's past. It is important to keep in mind that we haven't even observed all of the stars in our own galaxy, let alone all of the stars in the universe. It is very likely that there are larger stars out there. Theoretically, there should be a limit on how large stars can get. Only time will tell how much larger these stars will be. Thank you for watching. If you're new to the channel, stick around for lots of more content. Until next time.